guess where I am? It is Friday, December 21st, and that's right, I'm back in Virginia. Caitlin, I want to thank you for your video on Friday and for reminding us what is truly important to focus on after this kind of tragedy. Very well said. Today, since it's so close to Christmas, I want to talk about something that's been bothering me recently. When you think about it, there's something really, really wrong with Santa Claus. So my mom was telling me stories recently about how every year as a kid, she would take me to the mall to go see Santa Claus. And as a somewhat clever and inquisitive child, I figured out pretty quickly that Santa could not be in 2,000 different malls across the country at the same time. So she told me that the real Santa had hired all of these fake Santas as just a stand-in to talk to these kids because Santa Claus was so busy at the North Pole getting ready for Christmas. But then one year, she found this special Santa Claus that put in a little bit more effort, and when he came out to greet the line of kids waiting for him, he actually came down a chimney, and they had planted people in line to figure out what your name was, so that when you went up to sit on Santa's lap, he could say, well, hello, Susan, what do you want for Christmas? And of course, this had me completely convinced that this was the real Santa. I mean, he knows my name. Does anyone else think that this is weird? That we try to teach kids, don't talk to strangers, but if he's old, has a beard, wears a red suit, and knows your name, then it's completely fine? And why do we have kids go sit on Santa's lap? That's weird to me. Like, why is it okay for Santa, but not other strangers? Apparently, as a kid, I like to just stand next to Santa. Like, nope, I'm pretty sure you can hear me from here. I don't need to sit on your lap. Plus, I never really got why you had to go tell Santa in person anyway. Why did I have to mail my wish list to the North Pole ahead of time? Did you already forget what I wrote? That was a complete waste of postage, you senile old man. How do we expect him to keep track of who's been naughty and who's been nice when he can't even remember what we want? Maybe that's why some kids get cold because he just can't remember what they asked for. Plus, I always thought it was creepy that Santa could tell if you were sleeping. Wouldn't that make Santa like the best robber in the world? He's already proven his skills of breaking and entering through the chimney. So really all he has to do is wait until everyone goes to sleep, and then he's got a free reign of your house. Where's the police on that one? Are we just gonna trust that Santa's always gonna stay nice and only take the cookies? Nuh-uh, not in my house. And I was worried about the elves and how they were doing at the North Pole. They always seemed a little bit too much like slave labor for me to be comfortable. Like, why would they let that one elf be a dentist? It's his life dream, and you'd think you'd need at least one in the North Pole. What is Santa gonna do when he gets a cavity from eating all those cookies? And are elves even paid? In fact, how do they even pay for the raw materials to make toys to begin with? This brings me back to the theory that Santa's taking a little something extra when he leaves your house to fund his aberration. Plus, I never really thought about this as a kid, but why is Santa so biased towards certain religions? I did never see those Jewish kids down the street getting visited by Santa. And of course, none of this compares to the moment that you find out your parents have been lying to you for years and making you go sit on some old man's lap at the mall who is in no way magic or special. Turns out he's just some stranger. I just really don't understand how Santa got started in the first place. Were we that desperate to get our kids to behave that we invented some all-knowing criminal with ninja skills and he would only bring you presents if you were good? And why don't parents want to take credit for all the cool things that they buy their kids? Why would we just let them go on believing that Santa Claus brought them? I I don't get it. But regardless, I hope everyone has a great holiday and enjoys their break, however short it might be. I will actually be flying back to California on Tuesday, so I think we're gonna celebrate Christmas a little bit early. Let's hope Santa brings me some good stuff. Caitlin will be back on Monday, and I hope everyone has a great weekend. And look at my stupid dog trying to be all tough. It's a good thing you're cute.